new video. Um, today I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, new stuff I've got and want to make kind of a review for um, some walking sticks um, and training sticks made by Andre Büdesheim uh, of um, Irish Shillelis Ryan Welle. So he is a, um, a stick maker here in Germany. Uh, we came into contact over the Irish stick group on Facebook and uh, Andre kindly uh, offered me um, a cudgel and a training stick. Also he had kind of a charity uh, special where he was offering a stick as a walking aid for a person who needs a walking stick. But I will come back to that later. Well, first of all, Andre sent to me this nice widow maker. So this is uh, uh, yeah, what you could call a cudgel made of black sorn. So it's black sorn from Germany. Uh, made by a German stick maker and you can see here it has these this nice little knobby end here um, it's like 60 60 centimeters in length weights around 300 grams and it doesn't have such a big um, root knob on the top uh, but still this gives a lot of impact when you hit on the point the staff it's, uh, stick itself is very nicely made very flexible uh, durable, sturdy, hard and tough and it's coated uh, as you can see with this black coating. Uh, really like the smell of it, um, of this coating and it's really nice made. So one piece of black thorn um, with a song added at the end um, and uh, yeah it's just it's just really a nice stick um, of proper length. Um, and the, the knobby part on one side that uh, is used to imp, you know, give impact. Um, this is really nice, I already tested this out in training. So the impact you can create even with such a little knobby end, which is not such a big root knob, um, is still powerful enough. So this is kind of really a nice swift and quick cudgel stick um, with proper length and proper weight. Second one is uh, this kind of um, Doyle uh, Bata, the, the Doyle style of Irish stick fighting uh, training stick. They use these. I often saw them in videos. Never had one in hand before. Uh, I have to say I was a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit pre-judgy when I saw them in videos. But I have to say now I have my own for training purposes, also around 350 grams or something. It's made of... Um, oak I think and um, it has the typical shape of these Doyle training sticks and it's I have to say I'm really surprised it feels very nice in hands as a training stick uh, it gives you a lot of uh, a good comfortable grip especially when you think about this kind of uh, Doyle clan um, you know double-handed grip especially but even if you use it a different way like in a sword like grip or in more like these this classical irish stick grip with a thumb grip and everything it really feels nice in hands it's really comfortable um, the weight is very good for a training stick not too heavy not too light so i think the edges might be a little bit um yeah a little bit sharp still but if they if i round them a little bit with you know sanding them a little bit to make them rounder maybe add a little bit of rubber padding here up there uh then i can even use that for 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 sparring for technical sparring okay not, not full force power sparring but for technical sparring that's totally okay and again as i said i was a little bit you know preoccupied uh with with in my opinion um on these sticks when i saw pictures of them and when i saw um them used in videos but now i have my own i have to say i was totally wrong these are kind of cool i really really like it uh, really nice stick and again this was also made by by andre budesheim um and he you know made him this one himself in the style of what the the doyle doyle clan irish stick fighting does also really really good work and can highly recommend the work by andre uh, you can find him on the irish stick group uh, on facebook i will put a link down below and um, also to his YouTube channel. And he's really a very good stick maker, I have to say. Um, very friendly guy, really great guy. And uh, yeah, as I said, this is really a nice stick. Um, I already used it a little bit in training, 
not not too much yet but still it's already kind of a very nice thing and i'm really glad to have this especially because you know i'm coming from this kendo japanese swordsmanship background and back then i really liked uh bokken or bokto so the the wooden swords you use in kendo for kata of traditionally in, in um, in Koryo uh, uh, Kata, you use them also, and also in Iaido. And I really liked nice wooden, uh, especially from white oak and other nice um, uh, nice sorts of wood. Uh, I really like these training swords made of wood. And here it is, it reminds me of this kind of, you know, wooden weapon uh, you use in uh, Kenjutsu or, or in Kendo. And, um, yeah, therefore I can say really, really nice. And together with this, uh, a, a really, uh, really great work by Andre. So yeah, again, can I recommend his work? Uh, he's a great guy and um, you should check out his work. Also a very good stick maker. Third stick he sent to me was again, as I said before, the um, charity special he did, uh, where he was offering a stick for free for someone who needs a walking aid. So this is not my stick. I organized this for someone who need um, a stick for walking as a walking aid. And um, I have to say, I've, I really uh, appreciate that. It's it's a great offer. It's really awesome that Andre did that, uh, making sticks and then just offering three for people who really need, need a walking aid. Um, and uh, this one is also made of black thorn. It's also coated in black. The hat is uh, there's not one piece, so the hat is attached, but it's kind of uh, um, with, with special industrial glue. So this this would even work as a fighting stick, uh, uh, as Andre said, and I believe him because uh, this is really really tight. Um, the stick is nice, bendy, flexible, but still stiff. So it's a great walking aid. You have a way very comfortable grip up here, and um, yeah, as I said, uh, here down is this metal ferrule so this will be shortened to the length of the, the, the future user but uh, before i give this um, forward as a present to the to the user uh, who, who i organized this for um, i wanted to show it to you so again also very very nice work i like the color i like how how andre made it it's also very pretty straight as a stick pretty smooth pretty pretty even so we have a little bit of a curve down here and um, it would, would be also a nice stick for Batitsu training so it, because it's, surprising, it's surprisingly light. I don't know the total weight, uh, but it's surprisingly light, but still has a lot of power here in the, in the handle. And uh, this could be kind of a Batitsu cane, so to speak, for Batitsu training. Um, so also very, very, very nice stick. And he also gave me this cute little shillelagh. Uh, oh. For a keychain. I mean, how cool is that? I think this is the smallest shillelagh there ever have been. So like for a micro faction fight. <laughs> okay, so really awesome, really appreciate it. I really love this little guy here. Very cute. Um, yeah, Andrew makes also these uh, a little bit bigger in kind of Kubotan size. And this is as, uh, you know, for your keychain um, as a, a pendant or, or what it is called. Really cute. Here you go, three types of sticks made by Andre uh, of Irish shillelaghs, uh, Ryan Welle here in Germany. Very good work, big shout out to him. He's a really nice guy. Uh, happy that I got in contact with him. And um, yeah, you should definitely check out his work uh, on the uh, Irish Stick Facebook group um, and maybe get one of these beauties um, of your own. So yeah, gratitude. Extremely good work. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.